What's rolling brawlers? Viva the Hunt here with all the cheese and your things TCG back again with another Bakugan Pro review here. Review the Darkest High Enix Wave 2 Jirogon and obviously you guys know this is a very good competitive Jirogon so um, we're just going to go ahead and just jump right into this. It's very very good. Yeah. Here is the action card body crusher for one cost, negative four damage and scan so yeah. And then we have uh, obviously the beautiful High Enix with the uh, one cost of 1300B for damage and instant shadow strike. So, I'm going to go ahead and show off our awesome Geogon course. Here is our beautiful, lovely Geogon. Yes, very lovely. Very lovely indeed. So, um, I guess we'll just go ahead and move on to some thoughts and opinions, of course. Alright, Brawlers, I guess we'll go into some thoughts and opinions of our, I guess, beautiful Geogon. So, let me get started with first saying that it is 1300B. And uh, with the magic or helix, is gonna get that to 1900. Um, then 1950 with the magic, so obviously, you're not gonna get the negative three negative bonus because you are shadow strike, so that's amazing. Since it is darkest, you can play rapid fire, allowing you to play dance and magnuses. If you are playing aquas, you can run sync, obviously, allowing you to play the shuns as well. And on top of that, if you are playing Ventus with the new Ventus support, you can run you know, darkest Eldrick and then some new vent darkest Ventus stuff. So, um but well, that's obviously good with Ventus Sync too. Uh, I guess maybe the new Hales Darkest stuff. It just kind of depends on my big is then. So um, it doesn't really grab two cores quite well. I mean, I would like it to grab two cores, but it just kind of, as you can see, it does it its best. It kind of hops around a bit, but hey, that's just, you know, that's going to make or break a Geogun kind of. Um, I mean, it's good for stealing your opponent's cores on the first turn. It's a one cost, so it just allows you to get to pretty high numbers. If you are a low, a low B, you know, and it's just a one cost 1900 pretty much, so it, granted, if your opponent's playing with magic or a, a helix, so um, comparatively to the other Geogon, let that, like me to sec, it's way better. It does have its uh, number ran with the Slugler and the Arcelion, those are two still very good, uh, uh, darkest Geogon, so you know that. Um, yeah, so guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions of Darkest High Enix. Would you be playing them in a deck? What deck would you be playing them in? Yeah, all that lovely stuff. Like, comment, and subscribe. Your opinions, of course. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And look up for Battle Thursdays, obviously. So with all that being said, guys, keep it rolling. And have a wonderful day.